Hey guys, this is Alex from Games and Me again. Just wanted to give you guys a quick um, question for the community. Um, this is going to be a segment called Alex's Community Questions, and I want to kind of keep this into a more an ongoing discussion as opposed to like you know just you guys like listening to what we have to say. Because I know that it's more important for you guys to actually like know that there's a person behind these videos and stuff as opposed to like oh well they're they're just here to tell us like you know if this game sucks or not. But in any case. If you look in my hands right here, I have like a ton of games and there's still more over there in that shelf that you guys aren't seeing. Um, I tend to not sell any of my games. I'm basically the collector in, a, in our group. And you may or may not, if you may or may not know, there's actually a, you know, organization to this madness. There's six people that actually share this YouTube account. One is me, which I'm called the collector by the group because I just I just buy all these games and play them a lot. Um, we have Vanessa, who you've seen a lot of. She's actually our artsy gamer. She notices like a lot more of the graphical touches in the game. We have Christopher or CK, who actually likes a lot of like the stories and games and stuff. So you know you'll see that. We have Chris, who's actually our hardcore gamer. He'll play anything. Um, we also have Ryan, who is our old school gamer. Like, he's actually a master of all those old school 2D games and stuff like that. And we have Mark, whose title we still have to determine. Hey, Mark. <laughs> In any case, um, I buy most of the games for our team. And then, of course, they borrow it and stuff. And then, you know, right now we're kind of like having this issue where. I'm the only one that has a game, and then therefore we only have like a weekend to play it, which is not a good thing. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out how you guys deal with these sorts of things. Like, Because right now, um, I buy all these games. I can actually afford them. I'm, you know, I'm not strapped for cash. I'm not going to miss my mortgage or my rent or whatever. And I'm not going to miss like my groceries and my budget. How do you guys deal with it? I mean, do you guys like sell the games and stuff and, you know, kind of like, you know, try to play it for 24 hours, finish it, and then turn it in so that you can get, like, 30 bucks credit from it. I mean, I want to hear your guys' thoughts because we want to know, like, if this was such a good idea for the video game industry to, to try to bankrupt us, you know, in this part of the season to begin with. Granted, this is one of the best seasons we've ever had, but come on. Do you really think, that, you know, like, do you really think all of these games are going to have equal time on your shelf or even like your Xbox 360 or PS3? Probably not. So this is going to be the first of, of many community questions that I want to address to you guys because I know that, you know, you guys are gamers too and we want to hear from you. We're definitely like curious to see what you guys' gaming habits are. And don't be ashamed if, if anyone tries to slam you and stuff, you know, hey, you know what? They don't, they're not living your life. But in any case, going back to the subject, um, if you, we also have a taping of, of our podcast. We actually have a podcast on iTunes. Um, one of it's called The Review Club, which is something that we're restarting again. And it's basically us reviewing games. As you may know, all our YouTube videos are just impressions and not actual recommendations. The second part of it is Twee Game, which is This Week in Games and Me, where we actually talk about the news and stuff and you know, kind of show you our reactions. You can watch all of these tapings live at live.gamesn.me. Once again, that's live.gamesn.me. And what we typically do is we actually, you know, want to play with a whole bunch of our friends and stuff who actually watch live. And don't worry, our internet is like so good that we can actually stream ourselves like online and even play like multiplayer games online. So that's, you know, that's all said and done. And um, if you guys want to watch it, watch us again, it's live.gamesend.me. Um, in terms of the iTunes podcast, we're kind of changing our URL for that. So, you know, we, it's best not to kind of subscribe to it yet. But subscribe to us on, on YouTube. Um, add us as a friend. Um, respond to this. Reply to this comment. And we'll definitely, like, make sure that you guys know, know what, you know, what's coming up and stuff in terms of games and me. But, um, yeah, in terms of this week's question, how do you guys deal with all these games that are coming out? They're coming out about, like, days, like, separate, you know, like, just only days apart, you know. Like, we just really want to hear from you guys. Because maybe, you know, we can pass it on to, like, those higher-ups and stuff and kind of, like, say, hey, you know what? It's kind of a bad idea because this game... Um, you know, deserves a lot more time. And in closing, 
Let me um, tell you guys the ramifications, what are the ramifications of the holiday season in terms of franchises. Now, this may or may not, you know, kindle some lost memories or something like that, but there was this one game called Beyond Good and Evil, which was released by Ubisoft a long time ago. I think it's 2003 or something like that. It was a great kind of Zelda-type um, adventure game, and it was released at the same time as two other games, which is Splinter Cell and Prince of Persia. Deja vu, right? Prince of Persia is coming out, like, next month. In any case, because it came out all at the same time, and Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, and Splinter Cell were both blockbuster games. And you see this other game, Beyond Good and Evil, and it's like just sitting there and no one's buying it. So, again, this is an example of how games can overshadow other games and stuff like that. So, anyways, I'm babbling too much, so I'm just going to stop here. Because Magus and I need to actually play Gears of War 2 right now. So, Magus, if you're watching this, get on Xbox Live right now. We gotta play, okay? See ya.